Hi everyone! Welcome to my new and improved yarn room. <laughs> Why is it improved? Because I totally straightened it up and I found some stuff that I had lost. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> my name is Ginger. I am a huge yarn geek and uh, I'm pretty sure a bunch of you guys are yarn geeks too. I'm just saying. We probably wouldn't be watching each other's shows if we weren't. <laughs> so, um, what have I been doing? Oh my gosh, this is such, it's like the first day in a week. I haven't been having to be on meetings and stuff. So, it's like, oh, what do I do with all this time? And I've gotten used to waking up early. So, I actually got quite a bit done this morning. Um, let's see. Okay, I told you. I'd gotten all that Hobby Lobby yarn, oh, Hobby Lobby yarn, and uh, I put it away. And let me give you just a, a really quick tour of the yarn room. Since I uh, since I fixed it, okay. And then I got a couple of patterns I want to show you, but let's see. This, and let me get back a little bit. That is now officially the Hobby Lobby Yarn Corner, the Hobby Lobby and Whip Corner. Oh, and see this little thing over here? Whoops. Well, I have some pumpkins that I crocheted. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. And I haven't put a stem on them yet, so I just put a little orange on top. <laughs> That's how I roll. <laughs> okay, so, um, the, okay, obviously the stuff at the top isn't all Hobby Lobby. There's a few Hobby Lobby things, whoops, up in, up in all that stuff, but you can see, uh, like, a lot of those are Karen Cakes. That, oh, that orangish one right there, that's a Hobby Lobby. The one right above, it's a Hobby Lobby. Whoops. That one right in front of it's a Hobby Lobby. And there are a few more Hobby Lobbies, but as you can see, I created a space in between my baskets <laughs> and my crate that I could just, uh, you know, stack stuff on. And now the rest, pretty much the rest of this uh, whole bookshelf is Hobby Lobby, like I'd say from four years and back. And most of it is clearance yarn. And then going down, there's a few on the very bottom that are no longer, uh, or that are not Hobby Lobby. Let me show you. Um, the ones in the bags are actually loops and threads. They're a project that I was working on, the, the colorful ones in the bags. The four bags all the way to the side here are Annie's Crochet and Hook Club uh, kits. Of course, these four are Red Heart, and that's a loops and threads, loops and threads, loops and threads. So, those are obviously Michaels. Um, <laughs> now, let me see if I can put this right here for a second. Okay, so, and then I'll just kind of go up like that. Oops. And show the hobby lobbyness of everything. Uh, this over here, whoops, nah, 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 nah. now over in this corner, <laughs> this is my corner with personality. It is, uh, let's back up a little this way. Okay, I obviously have whips there. These are, these right here, are a lot of yarns that I just have singles of and are like Noro and stuff like that. Um, those are all blanket whips. Oh, but look at this one. This blanket whip right here has bobbles. I just need to finish this. This is all I need to do is finish it. Maybe I'll get that out 
what's that yarn? Mm. Uh, <laughs> I'll get this out and finish it and show it to you guys. Uh, what else? Oh, this over here. Whoops. Yeah, you guys recognize my granny square bag. Well, that's full of my granny squares and hexagons. And these are all whip project bags that I have made. <laughs> Dump. And I know you're not supposed to stack stuff in the corner like this, but I have to put it somewhere, right? Um, these boxes pretty much are just to hold my yarn up. And that up there are the two of the mosaic blankets that I'm working on. Okay. Now, let's see what else was I going to show you. Oh, yeah. And down here, there's some more whips and other stuff. Okay, <laughs> over here, let's see. I was going to tell you something about this corner. But I don't, oh, as you see, as you can see, I have almost stacked everything up to the ceiling, but not quite. That means I still have room for more yarn. <laughs> okay, this is my ice yarn corner. It's not as cramped. Here, I'll try to do it like that so you aren't getting so much light. Let me go like that. Uh, it's not, yep, yeah, it's ice yarn all the way at the top, all the way to the very top. Going down, ice yarn, ice yarn. It's a world of ice yarn. And then, oops, you guys don't wanna see that. Here, let me put this, let me put this down on the ground. way. I've got so many dust bunnies and a lot of it's because I have a long hair kitty that sheds. Okay. Now, this is the end of the ice yarns, this shelf right here. Well, actually, this is the end of the ice yarns. If you've ever ordered the big, uh, what are they, the big bags of the lots, this is what this is, and I've been winding them into balls. And I've got, that's full of balls. That's full of balls. I've got another one somewhere full of balls. But anyway, got this on sale at Michael's for $3.97. This for $3.97. And uh, down there at the bottom is like a whole bunch of Premier yarn. And so, I mean, if there's anything in particular you see that you want to know about, let me know. But, I mean, for now, they're just Premier Yarns. And they're wonderful. Okay. So, oh. And those are a couple of bags I made. Now this right here, that's just like cotton thread and some other... Hi. Hi. You would not believe what just happened. My videotape turned off when I was recording, and I didn't notice it till like 10 minutes later. That is a pain. <laughs> well, I'll just pick up where I left off. I think I was right over there. And just looking at that stuff. Okay. <sighs> now this, you guys remember... The rest of my yarn wall over on that side and do you notice down at the bottom there I got my big my big stack of craziness that was right in the middle all cleared out oh guess what I found while I was doing that da -da -da -da. look at that and see I knew at the time that I was missing a whole bunch of hexagons. So, I have found a whole basket of hexagons and I have no idea how many there are. It's full, it is literally chock full of hexagons. This is how big the basket is. So, I will not bore you with counting right now, but <laughs> I will, uh, tell you how, I'll count out how many of the hexagons I already had 74 so I'm going to count and see how many there are of these 
and now they're stacked over in that corner over there. But, I mean, come on, guys, you got to admit, it is a neatly stacked corner, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's stacked neatly and there's no chaos. My little piggy likes it. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what one thing I think is happening to me? which is just, I'm gonna point this up so you guys see more yarn instead of more wires. I'm having hot flashes, I think, because all of a sudden, for no reason, I'll start sweating like crazy, and I don't like it. Because I ask everybody else in the house, does it seem hot in here? As I'm whew, wiping off all this, <laughs> sorry, TMI. But it happens. It's a reality. <laughs> okay. So, I totally, I didn't much as much reorganize it because what I was wanting to do was organize it by like Lion Brand, Burnett, Loops and Threads. Organize it like that. But what happened was there's just too much yarn to take totally down. So I thought, I'll just do it a little bit at a time. Like, as I make a hole in a Lion Brand spot, I will fill it with another Lion Brand and kind of play, what's that puzzle game that's like this big and has the little tiles that you slide? It's one of those games. So, this is going to be fun. Um, here, I need to tilt this up just a little bit more. Now, I don't think last time I had everything stacked all the way to the top up there, but I have it all the way to the top. And these ceilings are either nine to 10 feet tall. They're very tall. So I have a lot of yarn stacked up there. Now, um, see this, whoop, this strip right here? that goes all the way up, that is not, whoop, not in crates. That is yarn that, okay, there were crates there, but I took, there were two crates. I took the two crates down and set them over the other corner so I'd have places to stack that yarn. And I think it works rather nicely. Those are, let's see, do, 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 do. Those on the bottom, right? Oh no, I'm looking at the, that's another one I did. I'm looking at, where'd it go? Oh, it's up there. <laughs> I took a crate out of that one too. And then I got, those are red heart uh, ombre. Oh, you don't want to see just my forehead. And uh, some other stuff I got on clearance. Those are those. Uh, what are they called? I get them from Joann's big thread, big, you know what I'm talking about. Big twist, big twist, big twist yarns. So I could just sit here and talk forever about this yarn because I am yarn crazy. <laughs> but I'm getting all sweaty. <laughs> And our AC is like at 72. <sighs> so anyway. Oh, and look what else I found in the stack of stuff. I had lost this. I had lost this mosaic because I was going to show it to you yesterday in the video that I made. But I couldn't find it. Because I still had my big stack of stuff there. So I'm going to work on this one too. Okay. Now, I want to show you. And... I almost forgot to do this because I had made it in the previous, uh, no, go like that. I had made it in the previous video that accidentally didn't get videoed. So I almost forgot to show you this, but these are FOs so far for August. No, this one was July. This one was July. Well, the rest were August now. I want to run through them really quickly 
to show you. And most importantly, if you like them, I'm going to put links down below to the designer in each of the patterns. And like, I'm not affiliated or anything. I'm just hand, I'm just giving you guys awesome info because also these people are my friends. <sighs> and I just love to help and support my yarny friends. So anyway, because... I mean, when somebody creates this much awesomeness, hello, this is the gingham style tea. And doesn't it just make you want to sing that song? You know, I'm not going to, the gingham style or whatever that song is. But uh, yeah, this pattern is just released today. And until Monday... Roxanne has uh, has this pattern for 20% off in her Ravelry and her Etsy store. And I'll put the link below for that. Uh, I don't know. I haven't checked it out yet, so I don't know what the price is, but it doesn't cost anything to go check, so I guess I can go check. Um, her patterns are beautiful. They're color. They're made in easy to read grid. I can't explain it very well. All I know is that I'm a visual person and I like visually, aesthetically pleasing things. So it makes the pattern pretty to read while you're making it. You know how some are just like, oh, word, 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 word. No, hers are beautiful. It could be a... Her patterns all put together in one book could literally be a coffee table book. They're beautiful. It kicked me off again. I better hurry up and wrap this up so it doesn't kick me off again. Um, so I was saying, this I made out of a Lion Brand cupcake. So it's a DK weight and it's uh, very light and breezy. Hence the name Breeze Tea. Okay, now this is the salt water taffy tea that I uh, tested for Rachel Misner of Evelyn and Peter. Boop, 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 boop. And this is made out of Trulu. And it is very, very cool to wear. I'm talking literally and figuratively. This top and this pattern are so easy. <sighs> Seriously, I made this in two days. It worked up that fast. So uh, the link for that pattern will be down below too. And also uh, this pattern, you can get this for free on her website. It's uh, You can get the PDF in other places but this, this pattern is free on our website. And it's uh, got those little picots on the edge and down at the bottom. <sighs> Look at those picots. Yes, all those changing colors and all those ends being woven in. Oh, got a little one going helter skelter back there. But yeah. If you, if you make this, you will not be sad. Um, <laughs> also on her website, she's got a lot of free patterns, uh, that are really, that are really cool and modern. Um, what else was I going to tell you? I think that's it for now. I'm going to try and I'm not having to work today, so... I'll actually be able to make the vloggist 22nd video tonight, even if I just pop on and say hi. But uh, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And thank you so much for coming to all of my subscribers. I keep getting new subscribers, so woo! -hoo! I just love it that you guys watch me. And of course, I go over and watch all you guys. So it's a, it's a pretty even trade. <laughs> You guys have a wonderful afternoon, and I will see you later. Bye.